despite <laughs> being photographed there, he's still denying it even happened. Mr Johnson has repeatedly said there was no party, that no rules were broken. Now he appears to have ordered an investigation to see if what he was saying was true. <laughs> He's ordered an investigation to see if he was lying. He was there. He was there next to a man covered in tinsel and a woman with either a tiny hat or a massive head. <laughs> and if you think the Tories took the mick, look at the police reaction to these illegal parties. The Metropolitan Police says it will not investigate allegations that staff at Downing Street broke COVID restrictions by holding a Christmas party because of a lack of evidence. <laughs> now, I'm no expert, but surely the point of an investigation... <laughs> ..is to find evidence. <laughs> you know, like a photo. It's like the police have got a dead body on the floor and there's a man in front of them holding a knife, covered in blood, <laughs> with a T-shirt that says, it was me. <laughs> I killed him. And they're like, I don't know, I'm not seeing it. <laughs> Boris Johnson's all over the place. I mean, take the new COVID rules. On the one hand, he's saying this. We will reintroduce the guidance to work from home. Then, seconds later, he's saying this. We think that it's, it's OK, uh, currently, on what we can see, uh, to, to, to keep going with, uh, with Christmas parties. So, <laughs> apparently, this is a Covid hotspot. <laughs> but this is absolutely fine. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, if Boris is suggesting that alcohol makes people in this country more responsible... <laughs> I refer you to this headline, Drunk Fault Invisible Man. <laughs> and in case you're not convinced, never forget that a 25-year-old man in relatively high spirits on a night out in Barnstable, Devon, tried to make love to an ambulance. <laughs> so, will people follow the new rules? Yes, they will. In possibly the most British way ever. Over one million people are going to a Christmas rave at 10 Downing Street <laughs> this Christmas Eve. Let's all wake up, Boris! Let's all wake up, Boris! So I cannot wait for the moment the police try and arrest them. This isn't a rave, officer. This is a business meeting. <laughs> I've actually got my business card here. <laughs> <laughs> and let's all ignore that my dancing for a rave was that. <laughs> <laughs> I've never been to a rave, but I imagine... <laughs> not a lot of that, is there, you all right? Good rave today, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> they got a buffet in this rave, or what? <laughs> Did you hear? what the Tories did last Christmas. The Prime Minister has refused to deny that Christmas parties were held in Downing Street last year when the UK was in lockdown. There were several dozen people there with food and drink and games and it went on past midnight. <laughs> it's unbelievable. Don't clap. <laughs> Fucking Boris is in the front row. <laughs> we, had a, we had a great time and an absolutely smashing time. Unbelievable! We were locked down, they're having a conga! Ba da da da, fuck you! Ba da da da, eat shit! Ba da da da, hey! Ba da da da! It is such. <laughs> such a piss take, man! We had hands face space, they had candy brandy hand shandy. <laughs> Did you see them scrabbling to cover it up? All guidance was followed. The guidance was followed. No rules were broken. Oh, fuck off. <laughs> what do you mean? Like, we followed the rules. Yeah, if the rules were made by Rita Ora. <laughs> 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 yeah. You know I'm right. People were furious. They wanted to get the police involved, to which Dominic Raab 
said this. The, the police have been very clear. They'll look at any letter, but they don't normally look back and investigate things that have taken place. Here we go. <laughs> the police don't investigate things <laughs> from more than a year ago. <laughs> Crime doesn't have a sell-by date. <laughs> it doesn't go off. It's murder, not milk. <laughs> Have we found a body? Yeah, but it's curdled. <laughs> Mind you, if crime did expire after a year, this guy would be delighted. <laughs> you know, because some of his friends have been investigated. <laughs> it's unreal, isn't it? The Tories had a piss up. While we were in lockdown. Christ, do they know how tough it was? Do they know how many fucking Zoom quizzes we had to do? <laughs> do you remember that? <laughs> no, Mum, the capital of France is not F. <laughs> no, no. An Australian dog is not called a dildo. <laughs> it's all looking bleak. Luckily, we got a Prime Minister in complete control. The Prime Minister is well and he hasn't lost his grip on the job. That's the official line from Downing Street today after criticism of Boris Johnson's performance at yesterday's CBI conference. He was talking to business leaders. He had a total meltdown. Uh, with fantastic uh, broadband... Uh... <laughs> uh... Forgive me. <laughs> Forgive me. He was all over the shop. It makes you think. What was on those notes? Um, of a business conference, he did just that. Yesterday, I went, uh, as, as we all must, uh, uh, to, to Peppa Pig World. <laughs> who's been to Peppa Pig World? Who's been to... How's I been who's been to Peppa Pig World? What are you talking about? <laughs> they want economic advice, not cartoons. <laughs> Prime Minister, will Omicron affect GDP? Um... Uh... Baby shark... Do, 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 do. <laughs> He's such a child. Did you see him at Peppa Pig World? Look at him! <laughs> he looks like Noddy on crack. <laughs> How is he even Prime Minister? I think this lady puts it best. Fuck off, Boris! <laughs> well... <laughs> Amazingly, his colleagues leapt to his defence. He's an incredibly smart guy. To talk about Peppa Pig to the CBI, I think that is a masterstroke. The greatest Prime Minister ever. Fair to say, not everyone agrees. What's your thoughts on him as a Prime Minister? Shit. <laughs> all these... All these cock -ups, It's no wonder some of his MPs are losing faith. Several Tory MPs have submitted letters of no confidence. What gets me? How have they only just lost confidence? He's lied about the NHS, he lied about Brexit, and, crucially, he's fucking weird. <laughs> Boris Johnson said he loved fox hunting in a semi-sexual way. <laughs> Who finds fox hunting arousing? When they have sex, it sounds like someone's stabbing a bagpipe. <laughs> Also, his poor wife, his poor Carrie, fancy a bit of role play? <laughs> yeah, it sounds lovely, boy. <laughs> Have you got plans? I've got 50 of my friends dressed as beagles. <laughs> oh! He's not 
just weird. He's utterly useless. <laughs> he had to guess his son's birthday three times in an awkward chat with a voter. Is it today? Tomorrow? Different day? It's a different day. I knew it. Ah, I'll never forget Sammy. Johnny, Teddy, Wilfred's birthday. <laughs> She's my favourite daughter. Son, sorry. Fucking baby shark. <laughs> <laughs>